right now. I think people are confused. At one time, you think democracy would solve every problem. It didn't work. And then the American give the idea that development would be the answer. You know, instead of colonialism, in the old day, we white people can organize, control the rest of the world. And they felt that's wrong. So they used the word development. And for me, that uh, it's colonialism in a different kind. Because Americans tell you that you are underdeveloped. You must develop like us, that us, you must be more capitalistic like us. And for this, it, and the Americans are so powerful. They sold the idea to the uh, UN in the 1960, the UN called Decade of Development. At the end of the decade, the rich become richer, the poor become poorer. 1970, they call second decade. It's all wrong because it's all material, you see. That's why I care for the Bhutanese king who said we must develop gross natural happiness, not gross natural product. I think that's the key. So I think in the Buddhists would have also tried to change crisis into opportunity. So right now, if you stick on to mainstream economics, the, the world going to be the end because you promote greed more and more. So you have to limit greed. The same politics is all full of violence, for, you see. But luckily, there are now alternatives, you know, in economics. E.F. Schumacher started 40 years ago, Buddhist economic. Uh, economic as if human beings matter. And now there even a Schumacher College in England promoting alternative education. And likewise, in politics, there's a book by Ken Page called Politics Without Killing. Ken Page was at Princeton. His PhD thesis was on the Korean War. And he felt that the Americans went to Korea to fight for liberty, for freedom. And he, he interviewed Truman, he interviewed MacArthur. His book was best selling. Then he realized there was propaganda. Later on, he changed. So he wrote a book called Politics Without Killing. It's not published in America, not the mainstream, but now you can get it. It translates into 40 languages. Ken Page also became Buddhist, living in, 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 in Hawaii. He became my good friend and passed away recently. So the Buddhists teach you to look for something alternative so that if the world going along to more, be more and more greedy, you must learn to limit greed. If the world going more and more violent, you must learn to change violence into non-violent. If the world is full of delusion, modern education full of delusion, modern mass media is full of delusion, we must change, change to, into wisdom, alternative to delusion, if possible.